Obviously, when we get some good news, like the pardoning of the Hammonds to start our day, it makes everything just a little bit better around here after a couple years of working on this tough issue. Ethan Lane is executive director of the Public Lands Council and NCBA Federal Lands. He says, like others, they too were pleased with President Trump's pardon of Dwight and Stephen Hammond, but know a lot of hard work still lies ahead to rebuild lost trust. The administration taking this step today and, and pardoning the Hammonds and sending them home is sending that message that, hey, we get it. We understand that we have some ground to cover to rebuild trust with ranchers. You know, you can't get any real conservation work done on the range without ranchers doing the important critical work that they do every day just as a matter of their normal ranch management. Um, so in order to maintain that benefit and preserve that benefit for federal land users across the multiple use spectrum, you got to rebuild that trust. The Hammonds are longtime members of the Oregon Cattlemen's Association and OCA Executive Director Jerome Rosa says this week's presidential pardon is some long overdue justice. Judge Hogan mentioned in at that time that um, a five-year sentence would shock the conscience and be grossly disproportionate to the severity of the crime. And uh, so then when they were retried um, again for the same crime a second time um, under the um, Anti-Terrorism and Effective Death Penalty Act of 96, that was never intended to be for small rangeland fire, and, and this was really unjust. And uh, we are glad that President Trump had the courage to go through and um, pardon the Hammonds. Other states like Montana, where ranchers still utilize public lands for grazing, have also been following this issue very closely. Here's the Montana Stock Growers Association's Executive Vice President, Jay Bodner. The punishment did not fit the crime in this case, and that uh, that punishment was extremely harsh uh, for, uh, I guess what we would recognize is, is just a, a slight oversight. Uh, there was not a lot of damage that occurred to the federal land and the small amount of acreage that got burned. Um, and so we thought, you know, federal prison was, uh, you know, extremely harsh in this. And with the Hammonds now out of prison, work has already begun to make sure that they get their federal grazing permits back. In Billings, Russell Nimitz. MTN News.